Hello everyone, and today I'm doing an, um, well, another review, and I just got something from Amazon on, on, on Amazon Prime, I mean Amazon, uh, doc, Amazon dot Amazon.com. I just got it like yesterday, so, um, so what I got is, this is an unwrap and I'm unwrapping review so let's get to it then um there's I got something in the mail and and it's the um tombo tombo or well um it's from Japan I believe yeah Japan and it's a tune to motor that I got from Amazon thanks to my brother Edison he also got me the uh, soldering iron so yeah this is looks great I'll unpack this just give me a minute I need to un So, let's get another book. This is a box. Oh, let me in there. Um, um, this is the box. And this is a a gift or a thank you card. A gift from you for you. Enjoy your gift. I really enjoy it. So yeah. Um hang on a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry. Um Alright, let's get to this then and um un unbox this. And, uh, so, yeah. Um, just be a bit careful, okay? Just don't try this at home. So, um... All right, now, uh, so let's unbox this. Um, There we go. Um, move this. And there we go. There we go. Um, I will keep the instructions just in case if I can forget. These are the instructions. Yeah. 
These are the instructions. Um, soldering iron kit. Digital, yeah. This is the stuff for the soldering iron. The this stuff, yeah. So what it's called. Now, uh, now to unbox this. Uh, There we go. This is the new molder. So yeah, I will do a video on that soon. So or maybe later. Yeah. This is another part for the soldering iron. So yeah, this is like a tube thing. These are bits, different, different things, different like and metal things for the soldering iron. And this is kind of good since I've been meaning to get, like I said before, um, if you have seen my post, like this is the this thing. I might use this for now. So. Yeah, this is kind of good, and I actually really don't mind if I need this. Um, um, hang on, let me see if I can just... There we go. Now, this is good since I've been meaning to get a soldering iron for a while because my old two old track map, so my engine need to get new motors, and because my old motors are kind of getting a bit slow and wearing out, so I figured getting us getting the soldering on was a good idea. Um also just a bit of a fair warning. Um be very if you're a young child, if just in case if you are not if you don't trust yourself with this, um I suggest getting a guardian or your aunt or uncle or older aunt and uncle or grandparents or and adults to help you with this so yeah because here's the thing as what as what noah aka harris danish engine 22 said um in his uh fix in uh train 22 episode video um he said that do not be careful when, you, when this is on because this is really hot and dangerous, and also it could burn your finger and skin if you're not if you're not careful. Because don't touch the metal part. Because do not touch the metal part. Just a disclaimer: do not touch the metal part because if it if it's plugged in or turned on, it could it would burn your skin. It would burn your fingers. So hands. So be very cautious and. Just don't go near the don't go near the metal thing when it's when it's heat when it's when it's hot. So just don't go near it, okay? Stay a bit far away from it. Your hands a bit far away from it. It's possible, okay? All right. Now that that's out of the way, um, I'll give this and this. Most of this stuff is pretty good and useful for my kind video so I might do a first fix and train video soon so stick around for that and um, so yeah now I might so I hope you guys so I will give this like I said I will use this in case so I'll give this a 10 10 out of 10 since this more I will also get some other motors like I said now whenever when I said about now now <clears throat> now remember when I said that the motors that I have the 24 rpm ones one of the guy one of some someone in the comments said they don't 
that, that they think about the black one, the black ones, mind you, they said that they don't think they're good because if you have watched, like, 20, Trackmaster Productions 2016's video on the Power Dash versus RPM Motors, 24 RPM Motors, his video, go check that out, just in case. Oh, I have his channel. I, um, I, if you check, click on the homepage of my YouTube channel, go down, and if you see his channel, go check it out. And he makes awesome videos. Go check out his channel. Trust me. And he's pretty good at modifying engines and rolling stock. So, so yeah. Um, so, yeah. I might get more of this or some of the other motors. The Power Dash and the Hybrid Dash 3's motors, maybe. Or the Ultra Dash motors, maybe. Like I said, maybe. Like I said, um, to be fair, apart from Amazon standards. And, you know, this is pretty good since I'll be using this not that often. So, just in case. You know, yeah. So yeah, I I'll give this a sub, at this a ten out of ten. Just move these out of the way. Um. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this review. And um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will see you guys in the next video. And also, if you want me to do a fix and change video or 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 if you want me to do the motor swap thing again, um I will I will get right to that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. And I remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I I hope you guys can. I will see you guys in the next video. All right. Goodbye and farewell. And and hope you guys have a good day. And I will see you guys the next time. Guys, next time. All right. Goodbye.